This video covers identifying the largest and smallest integer that satisfies an inequality. These questions bring a lot of what has been covered from previous videos all together. Have a look at this question. Write down the largest integer that satisfies x plus 5 is less than 12. We would first need to solve the inequality. Subtract 5 from both sides, we get x is less than 7. Then we analyse the inequality, x is less than 7. What integers are less than 7? Well, all the values smaller than 7. So the integer that is the largest of that group of values must be 6. Have a look at this question. Write down the smallest integer that satisfies 3x plus 1 over 5 is greater than 2. Using the skills we've covered in the previous videos, we first solve the inequality. Times by 5, subtract 1, and then divide by 3. x is greater than 3. The smallest integer greater than 3 is 4. Have a go at these questions. Let's consider this question. Write the greatest integer that satisfies 5x minus 7 over 3 less than or equal to 5. We first multiply by 3, then add 7, then divide by 5. We get 22 over 5, which is 22 divided by 5, which equals to 4.4. However, 4.4 isn't an integer. The first largest integer that satisfies the inequality is 4. Last question. Find the smallest integer that satisfies 7x plus 3 greater than or equal to 33. We first subtract 3 from both sides then divide by 7. We therefore get x is greater than or equal to 30 over 7. As fractions can sometimes produce long decimal values such as this one, which equals 4.285714285 and so on and so on, to find the closest integer, change the improper fraction into mixed fraction. How many 7s fit into 30? We get 4, remainder 2. Therefore we get this fraction. As you can see, we have 4 holes. 4 is the smallest integer that satisfies the inequality. Have a go at these questions. To summarise, when identifying the largest or smallest integers that satisfy an inequality, remember to solve the inequality like an equation and identify the closest integer to the value based off of the inequality symbol. And if your fraction produces a decimal, Change the fraction into a mixed fraction to identify the closest whole number.